First task, get to Atlantic City. Finally made it down to Atlantic City. Ready to go into the convention. Should be a hell of a time. Second task, check out the National. Third task, hang out with some great YouTubers. 2016 National is a great opportunity to hang out and meet up with people from the YouTube community. Let's go do that now. We got a crew here, busting packs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Out of nowhere, look at this go. guy. Dave's midlife card crisis? Yes. <laughs> Say something, Dave, I mean, come on now. <laughs> What's up, Dave? What's up, YouTube? All Dave's midlife silent. card crisis here. Coming at you. That's all I got. That's all I got, yeah. <laughs> Wesker Griff, first time, I think on YouTube, 450 videos plus, first time showing my face. First Whoa, reveal. Yeah, first reveal, that. dude. Wow, wow, I feel privileged. Beat you out, Ricky Russo. MD Pit 21. What's up, everybody in YouTube land? Having some fun here in good old Atlantic City, New Jersey. Fourth task, bust some wax. We uh, we just busted some twenty-five dollar panini Donruss boxes. Twenty-five. Twenty-five bucks. Bubble mailers. So Bubble we did pretty well. It's just a pile of empty wrappers. Here. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Jalen Ramsey, Redback. Take two. Yeah. Mike out here from the National with Dave's Midlife Card Crisis, yep. and we're gonna bust a box of 2016 Top Stadium Club. Mike O back here with Mike from Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards, and we're gonna both bust a pack of 2016 Tops Chrome Baseball, which was just released. Hey, let's go. Come on, Dave. Oh, ooh, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> That works. That works. That works. That works. You're welcome. That Thank works. You. Oh my. That merino is one of the shorter printed ones. Boom. Is it? Yeah. Now that we had all that fun, it's time to take off and go home. But it was a great time for sure. If you guys ever have an opportunity to attend a national, do it. So a few weeks back, made the trip with a few friends to Allentown, Pennsylvania to check out an Iron Pigs game. The game got rained out, going to the game tonight to uh, make up for that. So back with Eric, who appeared in the past, and also Hunter, who's hiding in the back right now. Hunter, is this game gonna take place uh, tonight? You knew last time it wasn't happening. Yeah. You were the one. We were the idiots who went there. I told you, stay at the house. It looks like it's gonna get rained out. Take a picture of them guys. 
<laughs> First time you've seen him working, go ahead. Thank you. We finally made our way to Allentown and getting ready to go into the Iron Pit game. One inning in, it's scoreless. Where are we going? Get something to eat. What are you going to get? Hot dog. Do you always have bunny ears? <laughs> Iron Pigs trail this one three to one. Still a lot of baseball left. Thank you. The Paul Tuckett Red Sox have jumped out to a five to one lead. Taking a little break here. A little warm out, so we're enjoying some dipping dots. Hunter's got some cotton candy dipping dots. Hunter, what are your thoughts on this on these dipping dots? It doesn't taste that much like cotton candy, although it just makes your mouth feel really weird. You gotta shoot one to the kid. Come on, guys. You better not put this on YouTube. Doesn't fit. And then this uh, yes, it does. It's a few sizes too small if you didn't it notice. On your camera. We're in the ninth. Paul Tuckett's still with a 5 1 lead, so I'm not doing great lately at minor league Phillies games. This is Hunter. I went to the Iron Picks game. We are leaving now. I went with my dad, Mike Preston. Had a great game, although the Iron Pigs lost. We had a great time. Now it's time to head home. Thanks for watching. This is the last video I'm taking of the way home. I Hope my videos were good.
What's going on guys? Finally making my second baseball game of the year. I know, I am like way behind. At this point last year, I had already been out to Colorado. I've been to minor league games, Phillies games. But hey, you get busy, don't you? Anyway, today I'm checking out the Erie Seawolves versus the Trenton Thunder. <laughs> Hey guys, I got a few more minutes before the gates open. Figured I'd give you a little geography lesson. That is Pennsylvania. That is New Jersey. And that is the right field foul pole at Arm & Hammer Park. Minor League Baseball is awesome. It's a family atmosphere, it's really affordable, and the seats are outstanding. There's not a bad seat in the house. I had the opportunity to meet up with Manny from All Star Jersey Shop. We had a good time hanging out, talking, and we also busted a couple packs of 2017 Bowman baseball cards, which was a lot of fun. You guys can check out that video, linked down below. One of the big draws of double A baseball is the quality of prospects. There are a lot of guys that are really good that are on the cusp of reaching the major leagues. I mean, you have a ton of guys that, you know, will be big leaguers. And the Yankees organization has done a fantastic job in recent years of rebuilding the farm system. And they have a really exciting prospect down at double A, Glabar Torres. This guy is one of the top prospects in baseball. I've heard his name, I've heard so much about him. But I gotta say, once I actually had an opportunity to watch him play, I was impressed. This guy looked like a man among boys. He looks like he's gonna be the real deal. Power, speed, just a great looking prospect. Oh, what a hit! And the Thunder won the game seven to four. Torres was really impressive. He went three for four, stole a base, hit a home run, doubled and knocked in four runs. Really impressive. So that's it. Enjoy a few fireworks. Thank you guys for watching. I'm in Chicago for the National Sports Collectors Convention. Great opportunity to go to a ball game. Cubs are out of town. Thankfully, Chicago has two teams headed to the south side to see a White Sox-Indians game. Let's get going. Well, there was a ridiculous amount of traffic, but we finally arrived here at the ballpark. There's a lot of complications. I may or may not get into it in this video, but Nate is here, Tops 85, 401, Aaron Davis, JMVP. We're hoping it's gonna be an awesome time in the stadium, but let's just say we got a lot of issues. So hopefully we will get in that ballpark 
but there's nothing that's a certainty. Like Mike said in the car, this seemed like a good idea to, <laughs> at one point. <laughs> We're fired up for this game, but I'm telling you what could go wrong has gone wrong, so. Stay tuned for some heavy laughing. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen. All right, we got the tickets. It went semi-smooth, no real problems. We'll probably get into that story a little later in the video, but it's been hysterical. Hasn't Mike, it, Mike had to confess he's an idiot to the box office. Person. I just pointed to that. I was like, dude, I'm an idiot. Like, what do you want? Like, give me my tickets, please. We've tried to go in like three different gates, so. <laughs> No, nothing's gone right, man. <laughs> no, nothing's gone right, man. People are gonna be watching this video, like, why are they laughing so much? But you had to be here. You had to be here. <laughs> time we finally got to our seats it was already a 3-0 Cleveland lead in the top of the third the fiasco get here was crazy I'll get to it stay tuned but you know it's just been a really enjoyable experience there's a lot of energy in the ballpark there's a really good crowd on hand I gotta say I'm impressed with White Sox fans I know they've had a tough season so I certainly wasn't expecting this all right we're now in the top of the sixth inning the Indians are up 4-3. The White Sox have gotten themselves back into the game. Jose Abreu with a really big three-run homer. The plays went wild. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's been an exhausting day. This whole baseball uh, card trip has just been, it's been a lot of fun, but it, they're long days. So really happy to be enjoying this with everyone. White Sox get one in the bottom of the sixth. We're all tied heading to the seventh. So uh, definitely an interesting and fun game with all those guys who are all distracted watching the big screen. Bottom of the seventh, we are headed out to left field. We're gonna bust a few packs of cards. I mean, we are out here for the National Sports Collectors Convention, so why not? So it's been a while since I've been to a White Sox game, but I gotta say, I gotta admit that I'm really impressed with this center field area. I mean, just a ton of stuff to eat, really wide and open. I mean, it's crazy how much room there is out here to move freely. And you know, you can still see the field from plenty of areas. It's outstanding and the statues are absolutely amazing. Some stunning work there. Anything gone right on this trip to the ballpark? It's, it's been a fiasco. So what was the latest issue that has occurred? I got shit on. <laughs> I got shit on. The Indians take the lead in the top of the ninth on a hit by pitch with the bases loaded. Goofiest, goofiest day. Still bottom nine, two outs. The Indians have a one run lead. But we're taking off because we got traffic to beat yeah. and we got some more stuff to do, some more videos to make and uh, stay tuned for uh, some of our story of this ridiculous trip to the Chicago White Sox game. <laughs> hotel after more traffic but listen I teased at the beginning that like everything went wrong and it was an adventure getting to the ballpark and it did we were supposed to go with Bob super 25 he actually got another ride there realized he forgot his ID cash everything he needed so he had to go back right after that news breaks we're in the car riding through this horrific traffic and I start glancing at the tickets to see what gate we have to go in and I'm like, hmm, let me look at that. And it says, this ticket is not a digital ticket, must be printed. I'm like, well, shit, 
<laughs> uh, you know, it's getting a little late. Like, you know, we turned around. So then we go by like six parking lots. We finally get into a parking lot. I have to go to the ticket booth and tell this guy, listen, I've got these tickets in my email from a guy who got them from a guy. The guy's looking at me. He's like, who's this asshole in a Philly shirt on the south side of Chicago who's got tickets from a guy who got tickets from a guy? I'm like, dude, can you print them? So we did finally get in after we tried to get in like three gates. So, you know, we got in the third inning and a bunch of other stuff, you know, happened. A bird shot over to uh, <laughs> Nate. <laughs> and, you know, it was a good time. It was a memorable night. So, it was... Um, I got a shot on <laughs> it. It's one of those nights you're not going to forget. We had a great time. It was a good game. It was an awesome atmosphere. I was actually really impressed with the White Sox fans, full house. Um, it was a great time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. But if there's any confusion, hopefully this sort of explains it. We could do nothing but laugh. So. And we all lost our voices. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, all, we're all hoarse. So have a great one. Today is going to be an awesome day. What a great, great day. So we, got, we got sun, right? We got food. We got baseball later today with the game at 4 o'clock. It's a beautiful thing. Back down in South Philadelphia today for a Phils game. They are taking on the San Diego Padres this afternoon. It's a beautiful day for baseball. It also happens to be Mike Schmidt bobblehead day, which is going to be a really cool collectible. But the best thing about today is hanging out with some of my YouTube buddies. Some of my closest friends from the sports card collecting community have gathered together today. So it's just going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Before we get to the game, over at Xfinity Live across the street, they are having the Bull and the Boys barbecue cook-off. It's a really fun event, and I'm going to go check it out. Just leaving Xfinity Live, had a great time over at the barbecue, great stuff. All the uh, participants did a good job. Tommy Greens was the best and he won, well deserved. It was outstanding, a great sandwich. Got some autographs. I will recap the autographs over on the Mike Coach app. I gotta run back to the car, 10 minute walk. I brought my tripod, which they won't let me bring into the game, but at least I have some company. So we're being nice and walking with them. We got Ted and uh, Caesar. All right, tripod's back in the car, got my hat. See that? You gotta wear a hat on a sunny day, otherwise it's gonna get burnt to a crisp. Gates are opening shortly and we got a crazy line here. It's nice to see a solid crowd at a Phil's game on a beautiful afternoon. Here we go. It's it's Ray from Philly. Where before? For the Phillies. Yeah. With and these guys. Hey Mike. Hey Ray. What's it going hey, Caesar. on? YouTube. Hey. Ed's oh, over YouTube. there. He doesn't want to come over here. <laughs> We're at the Phillies game today, watching them lose. Well, the game hasn't started yet, <laughs> Wait, but they probably happen. will lose. Um, Mike Schmidt bobblehead day today. Yeah, I'm really looking yeah. forward to that. This is the original Caesar Pepino. <laughs> okay. Cesario from Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. Cesario, that's <laughs> right. All right, time to get, head in. Okay. Thank you. Did you get the gold one, Mike? No. <laughs> Just entered Citizens Bank Park. It's Mike Schmidt bobblehead day. Ray's got a Schmidt. You're a big Schmidt fan. Yeah, man. How nice is that bobblehead? Thing? Thing. It's very nice. I don't very think he detailed. saw it, though, because yeah. he didn't say anything. Great paint job I thought for on sure it. It's colorful. Yeah. Let's see that t-shirt, too. I love it. I love yeah. when I go, Ricky, do the hands thing, and he goes, We got Carlton as well. Said, no, not so but let's be honest, here. for the 2017 Phillies, if you're buying a Phillies t shirt, go retro. Yeah, absolutely. Let, let's be honest. Miguel Franco. Can't go wrong with powder blue and burgundy. Ed's a huge Franco fan. So bad. He
So my buddy Caesar took my advice, signed up to be a designated driver, get a free Better drink, free coke. and like on an 85 degree day where you've been out walking around a lot, best sip of Powerade of my entire life. Right, our seats are in 300 level, way out in the sun, they're way high. We're not going there. We are going to hang out right over here, right behind home plate, plenty of standing room, so that's going to be great. But I got some uh, some gifts for some of my buddies here, so I'm going to give them out now. I got some very small gifts. So here you go, Ed. Oh, thank you. It's a nice heritage team set. <laughs> thank we got a you. Heritage team set right. for you. Thanks Is it very much. Is it a Myco card? Heritage team set for you. I Bobby. brought you a Pat Nishek. Oh, I know you didn't you have one. All right, guys. Here's your small little gifts. You get thank a pack you. of 94. Uh, Thanks, Mike. Tops nice. and. 94 tops for Ted, too. You have an openness? Open in public. We are at Citizens Bank Field. In sorry, <laughs> sir. Citizens Bank Park. So, sorry. Citizens Bank Park. Oh, Curtis Iskanik. Played a big part in the Red Sox when they won the World Series in 2004. So, thank you, Mike. Robin Roberts. Tubal Herrera. Jorge Alfaro. Thank you very much for the great cards, Mike. You got it. We're through three innings. It is scoreless. Bottom of the fifth, Michael Franco just homered after we were pretty much all just ripping him. And uh, hey, Phil's with a one nothing lead. This is the golf clap, golf clap. What were our thoughts on Franco before the game? We thought he sucked. Man. Yeah. He hasn't, he's been really disappointing this season. Top seven, the Padres get on the board with the two spot. We're going to the bottom of the seven. The Bills are now down. Read his water ice. Thank you. Thumbs up. Ray Caesar and myself took a walk out to Ashburn Alley, one of the really nice parts of Citizens Bank Park. We're checking out the Phillies Wall of Fame here. Just always cool to go check out to see some awesome memories in the past. the Citizens Bank Ballpark in honor of the 30th anniversary of Schmidt and his 500th career home run. Here with Vince Caesar here, and here it is. There's a picture of out here in the outfield. It happened in Pittsburgh. Happened in Pittsburgh. Three River Stadium. Crushed it. Mike Schmidt. We're in the ninth inning now. Bill's down 2-1. We'll see uh, if there's any ninth inning matches. Day. Tough loss for the Phils, but still a great time hanging out with my YouTube buddies. Um, great day. Beautiful day for baseball. Cool giveaway. Thrilling, thrilling fun. So it's probably like 45 minutes after the game, and I'm still hanging out here at CBP. It's just um, it's a great time hanging out with Ted, Caesar, and Ray. We're just relaxing. It is a beautiful day here in Philadelphia. A nice, cool breeze. Very comfortable weather. And... Uh, it's just a great time when you get to meet up and hang out with people. And I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I absolutely appreciate you watching. Ted, appreciate you coming. You got that right. Have a great one. All right, man. Good hanging with you guys. It was a pleasure. See you, right? All right, man. <laughs>
I think we're going to blow away, so see you guys. Thanks for watching. The trend on the vlog lately has been going to baseball games with YouTube friends. That continues today, so let's get there. One week ago, I was on the south side of Chicago, hanging out, watching the Indians and White Sox. Today, I'm back on the East Coast. I've made my way to Baltimore to check out the Orioles and the Tigers, and it's Jonathan Scope Bobblehead Day. This place is packed. What's up, everybody? Matt Hurt for 87 here, hanging out with Mike Go, uh, Ed Westergriff at the Oriole game. We've got the um, greatest bobblehead known to man, uh, Jonathan Scope. Um, Phillies will give away like a Mike Schmidt bobblehead. Down here, we get a 260 career hitter. Um, so, you know, got to start somewhere. Um, check out the videos. Having a great time. We'll catch y'all later. If you guys are looking for great nachos, I would probably go somewhere other than Oriole Park. They're all right, but they're not great. Ed's buying them for a hundred a pop. bottom of the sixth and it's actually a 2-2 game Orioles Tigers it's actually been a really fun game a great atmosphere down here at Oriole Park I kind of had my reservations early Wade Miley was on the mound for the Orioles he's not good he's been terrible this year and he got off to a really rocky start settled down and it had, it's actually been a really good enjoyable game Adam Jones launched a bomb so it's been a lot of fun had a great time Baltimore is always a good time. It's just, it's a fun ballpark. It's really nice. And for me on the East Coast, it's really accessible. So fans in Baltimore really like Darren O'Day, like a lot. I told you, they love him. center field to give the Orioles a 3-2 lead. That a boy, Timothy! That a boy! It's really loud in the stadium, but Tim Beckham just homered for the Orioles. 10,000 home runs in franchise history. Really cool accomplishment. And I'm here with the O's fan. game was a lot of fun. One of the uh, sad things was the uh, selection of flavors of Dippin' Dots, like the traditional chocolate and vanilla, you know, like, <laughs> I can't even do it, but rainbow ice, come on. Rainbow ice and cookies and cream. What else do we have here? Chocolate, vanilla. No, that's what we wanted. What did yeah. they have? The selection like was cotton pretty. Candy, oh, rainbow. cotton candy, get that. Ooh, cotton if you're candy. eating cotton candy Dippin' Dots and you're above the age of seven and a half, like, you need a whipping. Orioles with the 5-2 win. A lot of fun at the game today. What do you guys think? Very satisfying win. Wade Miley, who's usually a trash can, actually pitched five innings, and he even had 80 pitches from three innings. It's all a little piece of history. Ed, you want to talk about that? Yeah, Orioles had apparently 10,000 home runs franchise history, so you never know what you're going to see at a ballpark. Always something. And Wade Miley, who <laughs> was a quality star. We should have cut it. As you can see, they're very rowdy here at Cannon Yards. A little ruckus. Mike O, Eddie, and I all had a good time. So it was an incredible time, a great atmosphere, cool giveaway, and uh, 
your thoughts on the giveaway and the bit of history we saw today. You know, I picked, when I decided to pick this game, me and Mike over planned it out, and uh, Matt, Hurt fan, wanted to pick Jonathan Scope bobblehead tonight because he's a perennial all-star, probably the face of the organization. So I was one of the guys ripping on him a little bit, but I didn't realize his numbers are actually really impressive. His I numbers think, are great this year. I think year. this game converted Hurt fan, Matt, to being a Jonathan Scope fan. I think he might start collecting. That's we'll but <laughs> we'll see. But uh, you know, seeing a franchise record and see baseball is really cool and it's unique. Um, you never know what you're going to see. Yeah, you see a definitely. bit of history and like I had no idea that the Orioles were on the cusp of 10,000 home runs. So yeah, that was really cool. Apparently, Tim Beckham hit a home run. I think in the eighth inning, it was 10,000 home runs uh, in Orioles franchise history. So that's incredible. Would have never guessed that. It's all a piece of history tonight. So, in the end, as always, it was a great time hanging out with these guys. Uh, the YouTube community, the collectors community, is amazing. So, got to it brings people together. Hanging yeah. out with Ed, Matt, uh, and my brother Tom and Charlie were here. So, it's, that ain't Tom. Well, my brother Tom was here. <laughs> I just threw my hand up like that. Anyway, regardless, it's just a great time hanging out. So appreciate you watching as always, and I'll talk to you later. Country night calls for a Keystone Light. Another day, another baseball game. Country Night down at the ballpark tonight, and how else would you get there other than a red truck? Headed over to Country Night to Phillies game with a Stars and Stripes Keystone Light. Game's definitely underway. Still making our way in. The good thing is, for the first time in Citizens Bank Park history, there's a post-game concert. Chase Rice, upcoming country star. We'll see how that goes. Bottom three, Dodgers have a 3 1 lead. We're top five, the Dodgers have a 4 3 lead. Solid turnout tonight at the ballpark. Brandon, some friends here with some family, and uh, the stadium's fairly full. They've got the Eagles preseason game on here in the concourse. Dodgers still hold a 4 3 lead, bottom seven. Michael Franco just hit a two-run bomb. Phillies take a 5-4 lead. What does Disco Cam have to do with Country Night? It's been a generally entertaining game, but the conversation has quickly turned into ways to make the best use out of bottomless popcorn. Going to the top of the ninth, the Phillies still have a one-run lead. Hopefully Gene Mark can close it down. pull up the 5-4 victory. Really nice to see him get back in the win column. Uh, always a great thing to see HK up on the big screen singing his heart out after a Phillies victory. Headed down to the lower level for the Chase Rice concert. ever. Bye Dodgers. See you next season.
concert's over. Only went about three songs deep, and now it's raining. So uh, country night was still a good time. What do you think? Well, they were a little faster setting up than... Uh, that is true. They, so setup was like 40 minutes long, and then the concert was like 12 minutes long. I mean, they originally said that you'd immediately be following the game. If that was the case, the concert would have basically been I think these sensors up. are getting wet. We've been wrapping up. But even if they stuck to the 25 minutes, you would have at least gotten maybe six songs, maybe seven, rather than the three. All right, this thing's going haywire. Thank you for watching. Talk to you next time. General belief is that stadium food is expensive. Generally, yes it is, but there are some value offerings. There are ways to take advantage of the system. Uh, let's uh, you know, for instance, the bottomless popcorn. Come down with a large group of friends, you get here early, grab that popcorn, you know, within the uh, you know first inning. Probably best off getting a seat fairly close to that popcorn stand. And um, keep going at it, pass it around. Go nine innings straight. And hope for extra innings. And you can really take advantage of the system. 850 or whatever it is, eight guys, a dollar each to eat popcorn all night long. You can't really beat that. It's far better than the movies popcorn. I mean, the movies, you pay probably five, six dollars for a popcorn. And what's it, two hour movie at best? And it ain't bottomless either. Told you the weather was gonna get nicer. I'm down in Maryland now, and it's nothing but blue and sunny skies. Can't wait to hang out today. It's gonna be a great time. But my brother said he has some lunch ready, so I'm gonna get in there and see what he's got. Tommy, what's up? What do we got for lunch? Got some ribs ready to come off the grill. Let's go get them. While I was on my ride down from Pennsylvania, my brother grilled up some spare ribs. So looking forward to uh, getting into these. And he used some Yingling Lager barbecue sauce, which I've never tried, but uh, I'll have a review right now. I'm not even halfway done these ribs yet, but I can already tell you, thumbs up. And the barbecue sauce, the Yingling barbecue sauce, I'm definitely picking some of that up. This stuff is uh, sweet and delicious, so uh, good lunch. Got an hour before game time. I'm checking out the Inner Harbor. It's a beautiful area, so much to do, so many things to see. One of the things that really makes Camden Yards stand out among other stadiums is the area. The surrounding area is fantastic. There's a tremendous amount to do with friends and family before and after a game. Just bars and sights to see, it's awesome. Thank you. Upon entering Oriole Park, I met up with Jay McGillicuddy. Jay and I got together and did a collab video for the Mike O channel. It was really great getting a chance to meet Jay. He's a really nice guy and he does great stuff on YouTube. You guys should check him out. Jay was there with his family, so it was really nice to meet them as well. My brother and I sat in section 340 for the game. Beautiful view overall. It's a little high, but gives you a nice view of the playing field and really that great vision of the entire ballpark. I always love sitting behind home plate whenever I can. The game featured a really nice pitching matchup between David Price and Dylan Bundy. Hanley Ramirez hit a home run as well as Manny Machado. And it was just a really good overall game. A lot of intensity between the Boston faithful and the Orioles fans in attendance. The Orioles had a giveaway for all fans and it was one of my favorite giveaways Ever. For all you who grew up in the 80s and 90s, 
you absolutely had starting lineups. They were awesome. I was a huge collector. In Cinco, man can smash the ball a mile. This year, Brian, from rookie to now, his ERA and win loss stats keep getting better and better. They produced them from 1988 through 2001, and once the production of these figures stopped, I never thought I'd see new ones again. That's changed. They're back as stadium giveaways this year, and the Manny Machado one is very cool. This is absolutely fantastic, and I'm really happy to add it to the collection. Just great nostalgia from my childhood. Final from Camden Yards. The Red Sox are victorious 5-2, but at least I had a good time hanging out with my brother Tom, and we salvaged something from the game. Old school starting lineup. That's straight nostalgia. Guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Thank you. It's an absolutely beautiful evening for minor league baseball. So the Reading Fighting Phils look to clinch the division against Trenton Thunder. The last few days, the Thunder have done a promotion where they've had a free autograph signing. So it's a nice stress-free way to get some IP autos. Guys, I'm more of a TTMer than an IPer, but this looks like a great opportunity to have a shot, so let's give it a try. Had a good time doing some graphing before the game, got some autos to uh, see my recap, check out the My Go channel. We're heading to the bottom of the third, the Reading Fighting Phils with a 4-1 lead. They were down 1-0, but in the top of the third, Dylan Cousins hit his 39th home run of the year, setting the all-time single-season franchise record. And then uh, Harold Martinez followed up, so fills up 4-1.
least a 10-5 win, wins the division, and hopefully they're on their way to a championship.